Can you wave it out? Yeah. Here at the back. Can anybody hear me at the back? Yes? Yeah. Okay, thank you firstly for inviting me today to come and speak to you. I'm a little bit nervous after the build-up from our panel this morning and then that, that little talk there. Um, and if I were you, I'm just sitting there thinking I'm exhausted about all the opportunities that you've got and what exciting projects you guys are going to come up with um, to bring your project to life and which area it's going to go in. I'm going to speak to you about space, which is something you guys will all need. Um, and whether it be for this project or something in the next 6 or 12 months um, of your time on your course, maybe it can be something that's of use to you. Somewhere to, some people may have or may have not known, heard on, um, in the media what Somewhere To is. Somewhere To is a legacy funded, word again, um, project which is part of the Cultural Olympia and its aim is to provide 16 to 25 year olds across the country with free space. Free space for you guys to do whatever it is that you're passionate about. Whether that be running an event, getting your films on the BBC big screens, getting them screened as on um, cinema screens before premieres, um, getting advertising on buses, getting advertising on t-shirts, bags. Um, last night, the BT Tower in London was taken over by five young animators from across the UK. Um, so when I'm talking about space, I'm talking about the variety of space. I, from listening to some of Jen and John and the other people's talks earlier on, um, I can see that space can be one of the biggest barriers of young people getting involved um, or bringing activities and events to life. Um, so, in lots and lots of cities, there's lots of... I'll carry on talking while that comes back up. In lots of cities across the UK, there are 16 coordinators like myself who are working tirelessly on unlocking spaces. And these spaces are anything from hot space, desk spaces in people's offices, to empty buildings, empty markets, um, online space, website, print space in newspapers, billboard, magazine space, film space. Um, and the possibilities are endless. So what I'm going to speak to you about today is how this project could help you with bringing your events to life. Um, there's lots and lots of other um, events and activities that you heard Jennifer and John speak about earlier on, linked to the Cultural Olympiad. Um, lots of the young people that we've been working with, a little bit like yourself, from various different backgrounds, but a lot of media oriented young people are quite excited about capturing parts of the Olympics and the, um, and the build-up to the Olympics and post the Olympics, part of the Olympiad, um, and capturing all the things that they do as part of that, and getting them somewhere, getting them, whether it be archived or um, on the TV or spaces like that. So, I just wanted to speak to you about what is available in Birmingham, right on your doorstep. So, I'll introduce you to Terence, who is my equivalent for, the, for Birmingham in a second. Um, I'll show you a picture of him. These are some of the spaces that are already available across the West Midlands um, that are already, already accessible. I have left sign-up sheets on everybody's um, chairs. If you fill them in, once those details are logged into the Somewhere To database, you will be able to go online and request any of the spaces. And it doesn't just mean that because you're from Birmingham, okay, or you're studying in Birmingham, that you can apply to use the space in Birmingham. You might want to do a larger project using different spaces across the UK. Okay? If you go onto the website and you actually have a real good look and you think, there's not really a space for me there. If you've seen a space, an empty space, or a space that you, know, you think could be used better, you can get in touch with us and ask us to contact that space holder and kind of broker that space on your behalf as well. And the most amazing element, I think, to the project is we've got something like dream spaces. So I'm going to finish off my talk in a couple of minutes 
with a, a little film that was made just before Christmas with 10 young people coming together who took over number 10 Downing Street as a dream space. Um, and they did their own passions inside number 10, that which you'll see, which I think are truly amazing. But that to me is a bit of a, it's, a, it's an ideal space. It's, it's a, a dream space in the very sense of not very many people get to go behind the door of number 10 Downing Street. Um, spaces that I get passionate about are local community spaces, spaces that are underused, you know, been empty for a large period of time, and also spaces that young people would love to access on, on, that are on their doorstep and bring them to life and do the very things that they're passionate about. Um, is this going to come on? This one. I'm just going to show you the number 10 film now just to give you a bit of an idea. If it comes on. Sorry about that.